Hi, my name is Mark Fisher. I'm the lead applications engineer for Munters in the data center segment. And this session, I'm going to be talking about the Munters Makeup Air solutions for data centers. Makeup Air is important for three reasons. One, to have proper indoor air quality in the data hall. Two, to have proper positive pressurization of the space. And three, to maintain the humidity levels within the ASHRAE recommended range. These points have already been covered in more detail uh, by Keith Dunavant in a separate session video called Air Cooled Data Center Design Elements that's available on YouTube and also our webpage. In a typical air cooled data center system, there are multiple recirculating cooling units as well as separate dedicated makeup air systems. Munters is a market leader in dedicated outdoor air systems and has several energy efficient approaches for this type of solution. In addition, Munters has a patent pending integrated makeup air module that has several benefits, including integrated controls with the main air handler, and it's consolidated so there's no separate unit, no separate wiring, and no separate duct penetrations. This slide shows Munter's patent pending integrated makeup air module system and its attachment onto a typical rooftop recirculating air handler. The basic makeup air system consists of the following components. There's an outdoor air injection fan to push the outside air into the recirculating air handler. And there is a Munter's glass deck evaporative media section to provide humidification in an energy efficient way. We do this by taking return air from the air handler that's already hot, heated from the data center, and cooling it evaporatively. Therefore, we add the humidity without requiring any extra energy to heat up the air or the water beforehand. And then the humidification fans insert the air back into the recirculating air handler. In climates where the outside air requires dehumidification, we can then add in the dehumidification coil and condenser coil, and also the compressors. The humidification fans now become condenser fans during the summertime when the DX system is active. To provide additional energy savings, we can incorporate a ringer heat exchanger into the dehumidification side of the system. This will reduce both the operating energy and the peak energy consumption of the system by up to 30 or 40 percent. This is how the system operates in summer dehumidification mode. First, outdoor air is brought in and goes through a pre-filter, usually a MERV-8, and a high-efficiency post-filter, usually a MERV-13, to keep anything from getting into the data center. It then gets cooled through the cooling coil, usually to a 48 to 50 dew point, and then goes through the supply air opening into the main air handler. In the case where we've included a ringer cycle, the outside air will be pre-cooled some before entering the coil and then reheated a little bit before being supplied into the recirculating system. This heat exchange allows the coil to do a little bit less work because we're not supplying the data center air at 48 to 50 degrees and so therefore we don't actually need this air to be that cold going into the recirculating system. While the dehumidifier is running, Outside air is brought in and evaporatively cooled with the glass stack media, and that cool, pre-cooled air is run through a condenser coil and exhausted back out to ambient. Here's how the makeup air module integrates with the main recirculating system. Data hall return air is brought back, and the conditioned outside air is injected and mixed with it. In winter mode, the system provides humidification, and as I said before, it's doing this efficiently because the hot air from the data hall is what's used to drive the humidification process. The cold winter outside air is again filtered and then directly supplied into the recirculating air path. 
Uh, if there is a ringer cycle included, we can provide a bypass damper to reduce the static pressure of that cycle. Return air is then borrowed from the recirculating air handler and evaporatively cooled through the glass deck media. That air is now cooler and humidified and is injected back into the recirculating airstream. Again, here's how it looks incorporated with the main air handler. Return air is being brought back from the space. Cold outside air is directly injected and mixed before the supply fans. Return air is borrowed from that section, humidified and cooled, and then supplied directly back in to that section where it's mixed before being supplied to the data center from the recirculating system. Thank you for your time. Again, my name is Mark Fisher, and if you have any other questions, please visit us at www.monters.com slash datacenters.